desires and the inner issues that we don't have the same understanding of what we need to get through this at that place that you're in. Okay, we're running fine. It's been cycling back and forth like that. Running perfectly fine. cycle every minute or so. See? Back to fine again. Then the poop. Alright, so after we noticed that it was running fairly rough, obviously misfiring on multiple cylinders, um, go ahead and plugged in the scanner, brought up our DTCs, and this is what we got. As you can see on our results, we had four different cylinder misfires. Um, misfires on cylinder A, D, F, and G, which points you to 1A and 4A, which would be the forward and rear cylinders on the passenger side. And F and G, which would be the second and third cylinders on the driver's side. Of course, you know, driver's side, U.S. driver's side. So bank one, bank two, bank one being passenger side. And we also had a P1367, which usually means an ignition module failure, which would be ignition module one, which controls those cylinders that would be the module that is mounted on the right hand side of the vehicle or the passenger side here in the US so we go ahead we went ahead and we ordered both modules change one might as well change the other it doesn't take much time and everybody says oh they're so expensive they're over a thousand dollars no you can find them for a lot less brand new factory part Denso you just got to go search and you'll find them. Ignition modules, which are mounted right here on the firewall. There are two of them. They're very simple to replace. They're only held on by two nuts each and a wiring connector, which you see there. So we will be pulling these out and replacing them. There is what the ignition module looks like. There is its connector, and there are the two studs that it lives on, and those are the two nuts that hold it. Those are out. We're ready to install the new ones. All right. Here's our two brand new modules. WVE part number 6H. 1144 WVE is a subsidiary of NGK so they are high quality and as you can see I've already opened these up once to look at them of course doing this one handed is no fun but we got it um here's your original see that's a Denso Here is the brand new one. Also, Denso. Numbers are the same. They're completely identical. Jaguar ships these from the factory OEM with Denso 
modules. So going to the dealer and paying an exuberant amount of money for something that you can get for less than $300 each by doing a little bit of searching, which it's not that much searching, but anyway, yeah. Don't get robbed by the dealer, folks. So they quite simply just go right back on their studs like so. And then you put your two nuts, you hook up your wiring connector, and down the old road we go. We've got our new modules just hanging in here. We just gotta tighten up the nuts and hook up the connectors. It's 10 millimeter. What isn't 10 millimeter? Guess what I lose all the time? My 10 millimeter. Guess what you buy extras of? 10 millimeter. Anyway, run these babies down. Gotta say, I love the 122 ratchets from Gear Inch. Um, definitely, definitely, just from my personal experience, price, pricing wise, and usability i guess that's not even a word but you know what i mean way better than the tool truck robbery companies snap-on matco mac you're paying way too much and you know what it does the same job and it costs less and it's actually better. So if you don't want to just have that, I have all snap on, blah, blah, blah. I spend a lot of money on my tools, blah, blah, blah. Well, you can spend that money on other things. Pretty sure I'll get flamed for that, but too bad, so sad. I do what I do, you do what you do. As long as you get your work done, I really don't care what you do. So, nuts are tight, connector in, and we're going to tighten up the other side over here, and we'll fire this baby up. Modules are in, mounted and connected. Let's go start this baby up. Alright, we're in the car. Firing it up. Fire in the hole. So far, so good. Nice and smooth. When I take this for a drive, I might go put some gas in it because I don't feel like walking. But so far, so good. When you would do that before, it would already be going into stupidity mode so looking pretty successful so far but we'll see how it is when we go for a little drive it wouldn't even do this before so far so good great drivability nice and smooth no missing, no weird lights, obviously gas lights on, but uh, things are going good. All right, put about 17 miles on it since we left the building. Um, God, it drives so good. Put gas in it, everything, so we're good to go. All right, and that about sums it up. Got the Jag running good, solved the problem took care of business, happy customer, happy car, fun, fun. Drives great, everything works, beautiful, beautiful drive. Um, can't go wrong, it's a beautiful Jag.